All right, we're gonna revisit this leak down test. And what we did different so far is we put the number four, while we're coming up on the compression stroke, we verified that by uh, turning the crank by hand while putting our finger over here and feeling air coming out of here so we know we're coming up on the compression stroke. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a screwdriver in there, a long screwdriver, and we're going to get us pretty close to TDC. This is the one I used last time. And can you turn that crank? See the screwdriver coming up? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. It's still coming up. Going back down. All right, go back the other way. All right, that's good, about right there. So that's top dead center compression, at least close enough to it. Now what's after that would be your power stroke. So, you know, again, the way we verified that was we, you know what, go backwards again for me, because I want this on camera too, because there's gonna be people that are gonna wanna know how to find TDC, and this would be it. Uh, go backwards so we can uh, piston back down a little bit, and then I'm just gonna Put my finger over this and okay that's good it's sucking in so now turn it clockwise direction of course we want to rotate the engine the, the way it would normally rotate yeah what's drawing all right now come back up okay you hear that do it one more time see if I can. now the thing is I can hold that so okay all right so we're coming up on the compression stroke and then <clears throat> sorry Nick all right one more time with the screwdriver. That's actually good right there. So we're at top dead center, compression. Again, the idea here is with the valves closed. The last time we did this, if you guys remember, we weren't worried too much about being at TDC. As long as we're on the compression stroke, valves are closed, it really doesn't matter. Some people think it does. So let's do it this way too, just to be 100%. We'll show you the leak down at TDC, and then we'll pull the piston back down in the cylinder earlier in the compression stroke. We'll do the same leak down test there just to show the difference. All right, so I have some of my students helping me here for this, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's gonna hold the crank in case uh, the wrench goes crazy. So I'm the one that gets hurt, not you guys. And wait, before you do that, we, we kind of zeroed this as best we could. It keeps kind of moving on us and our airlines connected we're at TDC and go ahead and and connect that but use two hands for me Nick because I might need you to unplug that right away if this wrench wants to take off on me okay it, it gave me no pressure on the crank at all and uh, this is a little bit warmer maybe than it was the last time we did it but we still have like almost 50% leakage and if you can take your hand, I don't have my mic set up, take your hand and open that throttle plate for me. Just push in on it. Uh, yeah, that works too. We seal it, push down the way you just did. Like, yeah, do it a couple times. You hear the pressure building up. And if that doesn't tell you the air is going in, into the intake, right, mm -hmm. I don't know what it does. You can open it now too, maybe. Perfect, do that a couple times. Okay, good. And really, I, really, I don't have to hold this at all. It's staying there. Um, something else that was brought to my attention, and, and this, this is just the way it goes sometimes when you're, when you're teaching a test or you're doing something, you overlook certain things. One of them would be another time that you do this, I mentioned three, intake valve, exhaust valve, rings. So we take the oil cap off, we listen there. We take the intake, we listen there. And we go in the exhaust and we listen there. Another one is the cooling system. So if you have a head gasket problem, it's another time where you can pick up um, leakage. And you know, honestly, we were never concerned about a head gasket problem based on symptoms. Now I need to be careful. There's still pressure in this cooling system. So it's not real warm, but just from when we were running it earlier. So step back for a minute. And this would be one that, if we were concerned about a head gasket, Okay, there was no pressure. That's just a tight hose. Just be careful when doing that. That's a kind of a rule, you know? Grab the hose, squeeze it, 
But then what you look for is you look for air bubbles or what will happen, I've seen some that's so bad that it'll shoot out of there a couple feet as soon as you hook the airline up. But look, head gasket wasn't our symptoms. Our coolant level's fine. We weren't burning coolant, no overheating. Now, the, the people that suggested looking there too, they're not wrong. It's just something I left out of the, the mix of this. Our concern the whole time was valves. <clears throat> and you know, there were some other, some other people that wanted me to put some oil in the cylinders too, which is not a bad idea, because then you, you put oil in the cylinders and you eliminate a leak then it's a ring problem. But again, with a ring problem, if, you, if we put oil in that and we fix this problem, don't you think we'd be burning some smoke out of the tailpipe? There is no question with a ring problem, we have smoke coming out of the tailpipe. We have zero smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Um, so just symptom wise, we're not gonna do that. I, I, don't, I don't feel the need to, to do it for this either, to put oil in it to see that. Uh, I would have to go and get an oil can, I don't know, should we do it? Should I put oil in it? It's not my concern, but uh, you know, really where the oil would come in is the compression test, not the leak down test. When doing compression testing, you're cranking the engine over dry. When compression's low, the next step would be put oil in the cylinder and see if it comes up. And if it doesn't come up, then you don't have a ring issue at all. You have a valve issue if it's low or you know, cylinder head gasket. Something else as I'm talking too would be that, had a thought. I have seen injector problems where the cylinder's being washed with gasoline that can give you low compression readings from cylinder wash and then you put oil in a cylinder and it comes up to spec. So there's some variables with that oil in the cylinder test where you know you get enough gasoline in a cylinder it'll wash the oil off the cylinder walls and you can restore compression by putting oil in the cylinder just because compression came up doesn't mean you have a ring problem every time so i'm just kind of giving you a variable for that all right so right now we're at tdc and that is sitting about 45 percent leakage and let's take this off and re-zero that one more time this thing's been an issue for me does kind of walk, doesn't it? Uh, that's about as close as I can get it. Can you do that for me? I can't reach it. Nick, you're up. All right, so that's just over 40, maybe 45%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in reverse on the crank because I'm, go I'm going to lower the cylinder. Uh, it might fight me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I uh, got off of top dead center, and uh, there was another guy that had mentioned, uh, you know, that, uh, and this was actually a good suggestion. I didn't think about it. On this inline six, if you're at TDC, the connecting rod's kind of in line with the crank, and it won't fight you as much as it was before for us when I'm kind of holding the wrench. And that made sense, and it just proved it there because yeah. as soon as I went off top dead, it grabbed that wrench and flew it down. And you actually can see our leakage is better down at the bottom than it was at the top. But either way, this is still really bad. And when we measured this the other day, I believe the engine was cold when I did it. I don't remember temperature, to be honest with you. Are we showing leakage at the bottom, bottom dead center? Yes. Is the leakage actually worse at top dead center? We just saw that it was. Um, is there some validity in putting it at top dead center? Uh, I would say if you're being critical with it, our concern was just basically comparing cylinders and knowing the number four had low compression I, I still think for what we did putting the valves closed it doesn't matter where you are for a valve sealing test get the valves closed put air in the cylinder there shouldn't be leakage that's what we were doing let's redo the number five the same way we'll put number five now at TDC and compare um, this is still too much I don't care that we're in the green 
is still too much. I'll show you what the number five looks like. Actually, let's make sure let's make sure we're zeroed. Yeah, it's pretty close to zero. Yeah. All right, let's do the number five. All right, same thing with the number five. We are already at TDC. Thank you to my students for doing that for me as I was helping other people. So we're at top dead center. We used a screwdriver to put us there after we heard the compression coming out of the hose or pressure coming out of the hose. I'm going to hold this one. I'm a little bit more fearful of this one, Nick, because I know there's good compression in this cylinder. So just be ready to pull that back off or maybe I'll just let the wrench go. But let's watch this while you're doing it. Oh no, perfect. Leave it there, I'm good. There's actually the suggestion of putting this at TDC, true TDC, like with the screwdriver, maybe not true, we may be off of 10 degrees. There's a great tip. Um, it doesn't always work though. On a V-type engine, you're never gonna be straight up and down with a connecting rod. So there's variables to that. Great tip for this engine, great tip. Because I have no pressure on my wrench whatsoever, I can actually just let this thing go. I, I'm not even holding that. And you can see that we have a small, small amount. And if we do the same thing we were doing earlier, and I actually hear some change. So you're going to have some leakage clearly major difference and really the major difference is here with the gauge all right so that's top dead center confirmed again valve problem this is the test i'm going to move this now it's probably going to take my hand off i'm going to put it lower in the cylinder No, you're good. It's just pinching my finger for a second. It's actually better lower in the cylinder too. All right, take that off because my hand's crushed. Thank you. All right, you can uh, you can put that back on now that my hand's out of the way. It, <laughs> it'll rest on that frame. Okay. Yeah, it actually it actually sealed up better mm -hmm. uh, lower in the cylinder. So it looks like maybe the the test for a leak down. Maybe we should. Uh, be in a habit of doing it at TDC uh, to get maybe a true reading. But for what we were doing in rotating the crank to see how much it was leaking between cylinders four and cylinders five, I don't I think for the initial testing it wasn't necessary to put it at top dead center. Just rotating the crank, comparing the two, I believe it was a valid test. If anything, the, the pressure leakage is is less lower in the cylinder, which is where you are. When you're turning the crank, you're gonna, you know, be lower in the cylinder before you get up to top dead with the valves closed. Um, it is a, uh, a guidance test, I guess we, we could say. In, in other words, do we have leakage in that cylinder? And then if you want to know the exact amount, then I would agree, let's go TDC and measure the exact amount. But for us, we don't care. We have a huge amount in number four and it's a huge amount coming out of the intake. I never listen to the exhaust, but in this case, again, I, I don't care. If I'm doing intake valves, I'm doing exhaust valves too. I, I have no reason to go in the back and listen. So just a, a quick rehash of that. Let me say this. If you are doing a leakage test, and let's say that you're good on that cylinder you're measuring, when it's at bottom dead center, or when the, the valve's just closed. If it's good down there, it would be worth visiting, revisiting that test at top dead center. As you saw, it was worse at top dead center. However, in our case, if it being really bad, no matter where you are in the cylinder, it doesn't make a difference, it's bad. So just to, hopefully that's clear. Um, great tip with that, great tip with the, Connecting rod being straight up and down for the pressure on your hand holding the crank. Great tip. Again, I think that's for an inline engine. And uh, 
So that's the leakage test revisited. 